This is a really dense word problem. I would recommend that you start off by defining things. And uh, we're given, we've got two variables. We've got R and we've got P, and then we want to end up with R in terms of P, meaning we want R equals and then P something. It would be really smart to define those two guys. And I guess just start with whatever's easy. I think P is probably the easier one in that it's just the percent copies that are that are A. So it's just the number of A right over the total, which we can describe as the sum of A and B. And then R is the profit from A, right? So we just have to add the per unit uh, price. So A is times a buck, so I'm just going to leave it. And then we get this. A uh, buck twenty-five. Let's just make that a fraction. That's going to make life easier. And it's a percent. So these are both times a hundred. I would consider what you're missing. And if you were thinking, I'm just missing the number of papers. Yes, that's right. And I would think about whether they're actually constraints related to these numbers. There aren't. It's wide open. So you can go ahead and pick those numbers. And I would suggest that you do because it's going to make your life much easier. And again, think about whether this question would be easier with numbers, right? That's how you can kind of judge whether you should pick numbers or not. For me, it's a resounding, yeah, if I had the numbers here, this is really not a problem. So next step is to figure out what numbers to pick. Well, the one thing I'd be focusing on is the fraction, the five-fourths. I want five-fourths times the number of B to end up being an integer. So we want that four to cancel. We want something divisible by four as the number of B. Well, you could just pick four, right? Easy. A could be absolutely anything, but why not make it four as well, right? Because if you do that, then P right? The number of the percent of newspapers that are A is 50, right? That math is just done for you. You don't have to do anything, right? Because we made these equal. Now we just plug these guys into here. So 400 over 9 obviously doesn't match any of the answer choices. What we need to do is plug in P and then spit out 400 over 9. I would be paying attention to the 9 here. We know that our answer must have a denominator that is a multiple of 9. So that's all we really need to pay attention to. So I'd just go through looking at the denominators. So the first one is 75, clearly not a multiple of 9. Neither is 200. Neither is 325. 450 is. Doesn't mean it's the right answer, but we can leave it in. 575 is not. So left with D.